Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix higher LED TV black screen problem. Its sound is coming but there is no display. We can see only black screen. Now I will turn on the TV and show you. Viewer, this problem is very common. This problem can be divided into two parts. One is backlight driver area fault and the second is backlight strips faulty. Now I will power on and tell you in steps how to fix this. As you can see that I have powered on the TV but we cannot see any display. You can see a dim logo of higher. Under screen display can be seen by focusing a light on it. Now I will focus a light here and show you the display. That's the display is working but lights are not working. You can see that when I focus a light we can see a display again I will show you the source input is showing we have to open the back cover we will stick to the video don't skip any part and subscribe my channel if you don't have subscribed it also press the bell icon for latest notification we have to open the back case. I have opened all the screws to save the time. Now I will lift it up. Gently lift it because it have speakers or keypad connectors with it. With it. There is a lot of dust, dust inside it because it may be opened for the first time. There are backlight connectors. Firstly you have to check the capacitors beside the backlight driver jack because if they are bulgy then replace them your problem will be fixed when you open the back cover you can firstly examine the power supply or motherboard that where backlight connectors are wires are connected if there is anything short or bulged replace them I have also videos on my channel I will share the link in the de description that how to install a universal backlight driver when your backlight inverter section is faulty so watch them too but in this case we have inverter area ok now we will remove all the wires connected with the motherboard I have many videos on my channel regarding LCD LED TV troubleshooting and repairing smart TV troubleshooting. After detaching all the cables, put the speakers and back cover on a side. Remove any tape connected with the scalar PCB because we have to remove the panel for backlight strip checking and replacement. Now open any screw. Connected with the front side plastic bezel that is used for panel protection. Release the panel scalar PCB from the back cover. It may have some locks, you can see that. Now we have to open the front bezel that have tiny locks. Use a sharp screwdriver, straight screwdriver to open this. But don't put extra force, otherwise it will break your screen. Follow the steps I am doing. Gently push the plastic bezel outside and your locks will be opened. Do this on all four sides. Now take the front bezel and put it on a side. Our panel is visible now. Perform this step very carefully. We have to lift the panel screen 
and put it on a side on a safe place to avoid its breakage because all the things are repairable in a LED TV except its screen so focus on the steps so focus on this step and gently lift the panel upward it may have some glue or a double side tape connected so be careful after removing the panel then it's done from the plastic fitting remove it too now it's done for the reflecting papers put these on a side in the same order don't change the order when you are assembling the led because it will give it will not give you the proper light or focus there are four strips you can see that and it have 15 led bulbs now we will check the strip one by one with the help of a led tester before that we have to remove this reflecting paper this is a led tester if we was you don't have this then use this homemade led backlight tester i will give the link in the description and you can use it with the multimeter it's very easy to make and very easy to use so i will give the link in the description and on the i button too if you don't want to buy this costly led backlight tester you can make this at home now i will check the backlight strip one by one power on the led tester put the red probe on the positive test point and black probe on the negative test point guys these points are mentioned on every led strip there is a positive and negative symbol on the strip so place the red on the positive and black on the negative now i will show you that how many lights are glowing and how many are faulty guys this strip have 15 lights we can see that the center light is blinking it's not glowing proper so it is bad now we will check the second one there is also one light not glowing rest of all are okay you can see that second last is also not good you can see that the light on the fifth point is not working so this strip is also bad now we will check the third one there are also two lights not glowing three lights are not working on this strip viewers this strip is also bad now we will check the last one so light number 4 is also not glowing the result gentlemen is that all the backlight strips are faulty and we have to replace them all so we will install the new ones and remove the bad ones i have got the four strips of the same model 
Now I will remove the bad ones and install these new. I will check the new ones. First strip is ok. Second is also ok. All lights are working. Third one is also ok. And fourth one is also working. So we have the new set. We will replace the old one with the new one. Guys in case of any question you can ask in comment section. I will be happy to reply them. Now I have installed all the four strips. Next step is to place the reflecting papers and then plastic fitting and then panel step by step as we have opened all the parts. Plastic fittings are well placed now. Now I will install the panel screen. Weavers pay special attention to install the panel again. Gently place it and take care of all the four corners. Your screen will be well inside all the four corners. Now place the front bezel. Turn the TV and install all the screws that are connected with the bezel. Also put back the scalar PCB into its position. Now connect all the speaker jacks and power key connectors. Keypad jack and put the back cover again. After connecting all the cables, place the back cover and tighten all the screws. Now we will check the final result viewers. I will press the power key from the remote. Our TV is on now. We will wait for the display. Here we go viewers. Our display is good. And the black screen problem have been solved. All the backlight strips have been replaced with the new ones. Like the video if you have enjoyed it. And stay tuned to our channel for the latest videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.